www.thrivegardening.com and today I'm going to plant a bare root artichoke. So you can see here I have got a variety of awesome artichokes and I'm just a big fan of them. I could eat artichokes every day which you know obviously this is this is what I'm attempting here in my own garden <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get there with my um, with my artichoke patch lush though it is but I'm going to try. So I have two bare root artichokes that Peaceful Valley sent me. And um, when you get a bare root artichoke in the mail, what you want to do, they come and they just look like this hunk of root. I mean, it's, it's a little bit like planting spring bulbs, where you look at the bulb and you're like, is, is this really going to become that? Like, how does that happen? But rest assured, it does. And so when you get your bare root artichoke in the mail, um, what you want to do is either plant it right away or heal it in. Just cover it up with a little bit of soil so that the roots don't dry out and that it stays dormant. So what I did was I just put a little bit of soil in the bottom of my gardening tub here and, um, and just basically planted the bare root artichokes until I had a sunny day to plant. So next what you want to do is you want to dig a hole about six to eight inches deep and you figure out on your bare root artichoke where, um, where the roots seem to be and where the stems seem to be. So on this one, I can see, it, it's, I'm sure it's not clear in the video, but there's like a cut stem portion here that um, seems to indicate that that was the top of the artichoke. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop it in the ground. You can see how easy it is to plant bare root. It's not like when you get a big plant in a pot um, at the nursery and you have to dig a giant hole and it's kind of a production. Planting bare root is really fast. So I'm just going to pop this in the ground, dug my hole, and um, you know, chickens here are trying to help me out because often when I dig a hole there is a worm. Oh, yep, yeah, looks like somebody got lucky. So, um, there we are. I've just sort of made sure there's no really big air pockets. And I'll go ahead and water it in really thoroughly now that it's planted. Um, and so the one thing you want to look out for with artichokes, well actually there's two things. One is that snails and slugs can bother them. So, I don't actually have a problem foliage getting eaten too badly by snails and slugs. It's really the actual artichoke itself. Um, and so what I do is I start, oh, whenever they seem to be um, putting up their flower stalks and starting to become something that looks artichokey, I start putting out some organic snail bait. And so I use Sluggo brand, but there are a number of other varieties that are just made of iron phosphate, and it's a really effective organic treatment for snails and slugs. So. Um, so that's one thing you can do. And the other thing you need to know about artichokes is they are kind of heavy feeders. So if you can get some organic fertilizer that is slow release, long lasting, your artichokes are going to grow so much healthier and happier for you if you treat them with an organic fertilizer maybe every six weeks during the growing season. Um, and otherwise, I've noticed that they tend to um, A, not grow as fast, and B, they have kind of a funky foliage color if they're not being fertilized enough. They're Leaves go yellow a little bit faster, and but you can give them a little bit of organic fertilizer, sprinkle a snail and slug bait, um, preferably the organic type since you will actually be eating these things. Um, you'll find that artichokes are actually a really easy vegetable to grow, and they will even bear in their first season very, very often, even planting from bare root. So, um, so they're a really fun one to grow, and their foliage awesome. I mean, to me, this just looks so architectural and, and wild that I just love it. I, I have kind of a weakness for tropical plants, and these, the big leaves really kind of fit the bill. And, uh, <laughs> and the kittens really like to play in among the leaves, too. Good good little ready-made horse there. So this is Jen with North Coast Gardening. 